Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com, and um, I'm going to show you a few little tricks and make the cut today. And um, we're going to be working with my True Type fonts. The RT stands for our Rhinestone Templates, the RT TTF fonts that um, you can purchase off of our website. And there's a lot of other vendors that have the TTF fonts too, but um, I'm working with the ones that we have. It's the RT fonts, and as you can see, I've got my mat up here. And I've got next to my virtual mat, you'll see that there's an area where it says text and fonts. And underneath here, we can see all the fonts that we have loaded up into our Windows font folder. And that's where you put your, your TTF fonts so it shows up every time you bring up your screen here to work with. Today, we're going to be working with um, my RT2 line. And um, I'm going to go ahead and, and do show you just kind of how to resize and, and how to bring this into the program and work with it a little bit. Um, one of my customers and Make the Cut customers had a, a question on how to work with that, so I thought it'd be just easier to do a little video and kind of show it. Um, what I do want to tell you is when you're working with the rhinestone fonts, do not select the eye right here. Do not select that because that's going to take and distort the stones and make them elongated and egg shaped. It's not going to keep them round and in the, the right shape that they need to be for working with. So what we're going to do is we're just going to spell out mom and how I work with the TTF fonts and make the cut is just select your letter and double click it and um, come down to the O and double click it and go back up to the M and double click it and they all appear um, on your mat and I like working with them like this because they're all separated out so you can take and, and move them around and do a little um, kerning and spacing between the letters if you want to and lay them out if you want or if you wanted to have some up and some down you can you can work with them and you don't have to worry about how they're particularly laid out and then you want to go ahead and you want to select um, all of them and with make the cut when you select something and you click on this image here every time that you click the outside perimeters change and you don't want to move them except for when you get to the arrows like this if you move the other ones it's gonna distort and not keep stuff proportioned so go ahead and just grab your arrow to move on up and bring it larger what you want to do is you want to try to figure out what size the stones are here that you're working with so I know that this particular font and it'll tell when you purchase the fonts it'll tell you how large that they should be as far as as the height and that's the most important thing not the width but the height when you work with each one because the height will always stay the same until you've distorted it but um, when you work with it if it says that it's a 1.5 inch font you know that for a 10 SS stone you want to get whatever you've spelled out here to about 1.5 inches and um, I think this is a 1.5 I can't remember right offhand but I brought it up to about a 1.46 inch right now and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna release the selection there and then I'm gonna come over and I'm just going to ungroup this one M right here so I can just double check my stones and you come down to your lower toolbar and you have your little break bar down here so just hit that and then what you see when you do that is you see each circle can then be moved if you want to it can be moved up or down you can move any of these around that you want but it also takes that one circle and if you go back up into your toolbar up here you can see the size of the circle itself and just be careful when you're working with any of these because you may end up distorting those circles just a little teeny bit and you don't really want to distort that too much so um, this one right here that I didn't move up or down or do anything with it's a perfect 11.6 which wouldn't be big enough for us so we do need to go bigger so I'm gonna go ahead and before I move this I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it back whoops not split it but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it back together again and um, join it together so that we can go ahead and move it and I don't have to worry about it I'm gonna go ahead and select it all again and I've got the arrows that I want to see here I'm gonna go ahead and drag it a little bit bigger I want it to be about a 0.126 um, is what I want it to be so that's gonna be about the right size for a uh, um, a tin SS stone. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to break my group right there. Again, you can see the crosshairs kind of show up on there. Grab that stone and that's perfect. That's a 0.126 right there. So that's going to be the right size and that comes in for height. Um, let me look at the height here. On these other ones, comes in at, yep, 1.52. So this is a 1.5 inch um, rhinestone thing. So I just hope that helps you a little bit. Um, to learn a little bit on how to work with some of the TTF fonts because um, Make the Cut 
it works really good with a TTF font so you can just spell out what you want, put it with a design you want, and then send it to the cutter. Um, it works really good. You don't have to worry about a file being too large and dragging down and lagging your computer at all. So if you have any questions at all, um, I come to make the cut form every once in a while. And if I don't, just send me an email, and I'd be glad to help you with, with anything that you need help with. And that would be um, sandyjoe at rhinestonetemplates.com, or email would be rhinestonetemplates at gmail.com. And um, I hope that helps um, teach you guys a little bit how to work with the TTF fonts that are available. Thank you. Hi, this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com, and on our website, RhinestoneTemplates.com, we sell a lot of downloads and different things, but we also create true type fonts that are rhinestone fonts that you can just type out um, once you've download, purchased and downloaded them. You can type them out in any of the basic programs that you have for computer graphics for creating rhinestone things. You can use Corel or any of the, the other programs, the WinPC, the DOS program, or any of the rhinestone programs that you you um, care to use. But um, what I wanted to show you today is I wanted to show you a way of uh, really sizing these up very, very easily. And I went ahead and I've grabbed a couple of our rhinestone fonts and just typed out what fonts they actually are. I've got the Rosie font, the RT Hollywood font, the RT Merch font, and the RT Curly font. And normally we would have to take and select all of this font and go and enlarge it, keep it proportioned, enlarge it, test out one stone to find out what size it is, go back and enlarge it again, and test out the stone again. But um, there have been some macros made for the Corel program that make this so much easier to work with and I'm going to be working with uh, the Rhinestone Alphabet Stone Sizer today and this um, is available at um, rhinestonealphabets.com they sell it and it just works really really good to resize these fonts very easily and I'm just going to go ahead and get started and kind of show you how it works and I'm going to bring RT Curly that I had typed out down here and when the TTF fonts come in they're really small um, so it's really awesome to be able to take this and just hit this and what you do is you just choose the size stone that you want it to be and um, Barrett at Rhinestone Alphabets has already taken this in for a 10 SS stone she's already sized it up three sizes to the appropriate size stone so um, I'm gonna go ahead and select that for the I want this RT curly font to be each stone to be a 10 SS cuttable font when I'm done. So I went ahead and I chose that and I'm just going to hit resize font and it just does its work and it's it's as easy as that. It's already done and it went and it resized those stones. Um, you can check the stone size up through here and it is a 0.127 which is what it's supposed to be it says down here um, for height and for width so it's a perfectly good circle um, you know to go ahead and cut and another cool thing about doing it like this is if you don't like that size you could take in and switch it off and make it a 6SS cuttable font or stone size so I'm just gonna go ahead and um, whoops we'll go select that and go ahead and resize that down and then it's going to make it smaller for a 6SS stone size and then just go ahead and put whatever color you want on it um, for whatever purpose and you can send it to the cutter. This one right here um, what it also does is it breaks all of these letters apart so if you wanted to you could actually take and with your four-way keyboard, keyboard and um, just bring these a little bit closer too if you wanted to and make them a little bit tighter if you need to you know bring it in and and pick up some space to fit something onto a shirt or move it around up or down or whatever but I just kinda want to show you how that goes I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller here and just throw it off over on the side and we'll just go ahead and do the other one so you can kinda see how this works again and again this is available over on um, rhinestonealphabet.com they sell it and it's a, a very inexpensive macro but it, you you'll need to have a Corel program four or five or six to work with this but here's my RT merch font and this is gonna be a little bit bigger I know so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take it to the SS10 size which is what I, I use a lot and just to resize the font you just let it do its thing and it kind of backs off and comes this way to the left and it shows you that it's all done um, and I'm gonna zoom out just to or zoom in just a little bit so you can see the whole thing and I'm gonna put some color to it so you can see it really good and then at this point we'll zoom back in again and at this point you can see 
all those circles are just perfect in there. And again, if you wanted to move something around before you send it to the cutter, just go ahead and, and use your four-way on your keypad and just move stuff around um, just a little bit. And let's zoom back out. And let's go to about 400 here. And uh, let's go ahead and go back up here. Actually, let's, I'm going to make this smaller so we can make this guy a little smaller and get him out of our way here. Okay. And come back in. We'll move him up there. And let's go ahead and grab, let's grab the Hollywood font. One of my favorite ones to work with and bring it over and this I know is going to be a nice big one too so I'm going to go ahead and zoom it out right away so we can see it really nice when we're done and I'm going to leave it at the, the SS10 size and I know it's working because it works to the left and then it works out, comes back or goes to the right and then comes back to the left and then it's done and we'll put some color to it and let's zoom it in so we can see how nice it looks. And all these, if it was typed what you wanted to say, you know, if you wanted to have it whatever it was that you were typing out, Baseball Mom, or whatever it would be, these would all be ready to go ahead and send to the cutter then. Um, so I just wanted to share that with you and show you guys um, how that macro works. And it's a pretty, it's a pretty awesome macro. And... Uh, if you work with the TTF fonts at all, it might be something that you might want to consider grabbing over at rhinestonealphabets.com. And um, if I can help you with any of the TTF fonts or any rhinestones or template material or anything, just let me know. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you, and it's a it's a nice, simple tool to use and inexpensive, and I think it's going to help a lot of us with our fonts. Um, and it can also do some resizing of some of your images and stuff too. So just play with it and have some fun when you get it. And um, just a little tip I wanted to share with you. Thank you. And again, visit me at rhinestonetemplates.com if you need any supplies.